Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Off-Road Outlaws once again. I know it has been a while. You might notice this vehicle is new. Yes, it is new. I just recently built and bought it. Um, so yeah, we today we are going to be going and picking up a 1971 Ford Bronco. I'll pop up some pictures right now. The dude said that we had to meet um, at the uh, restaurant up here in Kentucky Farm Hills. Um, I just left my buddy's house because uh, I, I, I talked to the dude and he, I found out that he was here. So I was so I came up here, stayed with my friend, did a couple of things with my friend. And uh, yeah, now we're going to go and pick that up. So uh, yeah, as you can see in the pictures, it looks like the dude has spent a lot of time Put, like going into this vehicle with like uh, oh I see it oh I see it oh I see it it looks like he has put a lot of time into it to make it look um back to normal I guess you could say um uh, he said that he spent almost half he almost spent I think he said he spent like two and a half years on it um, and those two and a half years, he just, uh, he just couldn't take it anymore. So we're going to go in here, talk to the dude. Um, we're going to have a little bit of lunch with him. I told him that I would buy lunch for him. Um, so that's what we are doing right now. We're going to take up all of these spots over here. Um, and then we're going to go take it on a test drive. So I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go talk to the dude. Um, Actually, real quick, I'm going to go look at it. Don't worry about the gun. I, uh, don't worry about it. I, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. Um, oh, yeah, he really spent a lot of time on this. Uh, wow, really nice tires and wheels, really nice door handles. He said everything works in it. Um, everything is working uh, I think he said that he put a newer uh, V8 in it. So uh, we're going to have to check that out when we get back. Newer headlights. He said he put LEDs in it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to go in, talk to the dude. Let's see. Bird, 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 bird. Bam. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, bird. Bam. Bam. Got it. Okay, we'll go and get that in here in a minute. But, yeah. Wow. Brand new top. New windows. All right, well, I'm going to go talk to the dude, and then we will come back out, uh, and I will have, I will be taking it on a test drive. I am going to move the trailer right here um, just so that I'm not taking up eight spaces. Um, so, yeah, he said that he also put new... Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad again. Uh, he said he put new, uh, new suspension and axles and everything under it, so... Uh, yeah, this thing looks really nice. This thing looks really, really, really nice. And I'm only buying this thing for $31,000. $31,000. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to go in, talk to the dude, um, and, yeah, I'll come back out and uh, take it on a test drive. All right, guys, so we just moved the truck right there um and we are about to go take this thing on a test drive to see how it does um and uh yeah then we'll take it home and we'll do one more thing um we might upgrade it or we might do some uh exterior things i'm not sure yet comment down below if you guys would like to see uh me do like a roof rack a light bar a tire a spare tire on the roof maybe some different tires i'm gonna keep those wheels but maybe some different tires um and maybe do some other th cool things with it um just comment that down below and i will uh definitely check that out uh so yeah let's get in it real quick and let's take it on a test drive real quick I'm going to turn up the volume. Okay, so right about here, the sound, uh, I turned it up so that you guys could hear the uh, engine of it. Um, but all I was saying was just listen to the engine because it sounds really good. Wow, 
that is really nice. Wow. Um, we did buy it, so it is ours, so we can take it a little off-road. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna take it down on one of my, uh, take it out on one of my, uh, properties. Um... So, yeah, like, and the cool thing is, is most of these, like, some of these, like, fully restored, and with some, maybe some different cosmetic things done to it, um, done to them, are, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and I only bought this thing for $31,000. The dude was telling me that he got this thing for free, um, from... A buddy is his, they were going through his, or uh, through, like, a buddy of his was going through their field and, uh, came across this. He said the entire body was covered in rust, the wheels were unusable, the tires were all flat and, um, rotted and stuff, the axles had broken over time, the engine was falling apart, it had rat nests in it. And the interior was disgusting. It had, like, a raccoon or something inside of it. A dead raccoon inside of it or something. And he just said he was done with having to take care of it and everything. And he was just ready to get it off of his plate. So he was selling it for $31,000 to see if someone would buy it. And he really thought no one would ever buy it for that price. Um, he thought that maybe people... Uh, he kept getting these people that were like, oh, you're just trying to scam us. There's no way you're actually selling that for $31,000. And he he wasn't lying. He sold it for $31,000. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it up on the trailer. We're going to get it back to the shop. And we are going to... Uh, we're going to do some things on another vehicle. I have a vehicle in mind, so I'm going to get it up on the trailer, and we are going to go take it back to the shop, pick up another vehicle. I'm not telling you guys exactly what vehicle yet, but we are going to be going and picking up another vehicle, and then we are going to go to, uh, we're going to maybe build a monster truck. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, I'm going to get this thing on the trailer real quick. All right, get it on the trailer, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys when we get back to the shop. Alrighty guys, so we're back here at the shop and we picked up this, I don't know what year model it is, if you guys know what year model it is, uh, just comment that down below, I'm not too worried about it, but it does look like the person that owned it before me did kind of lower it, but put some knobby tires on it, which I don't understand, but... That's not the point. The point is, I want you guys to tell me down in the comments, down below, what you guys want me to do with this, and what you guys want me to do with this. Like I said, I sold everything except the ranch truck. The ranch truck has, he's going to be here forever. Um, but yeah, we sold everything, and uh, we are supercharged. They got it. They had to have twin turbocharged it. Texas. Oh, wow. They're from Texas. Hmm. I wonder if this is actually like a real truck that runs around Texas. I don't know. But anyways, tell me down in the comments, comments what you guys want me to do with this and what you guys want me to do with this. Um... I'm kind of wanting to lift this thing and make it kind of like a crawler. Maybe do a solid axle uh, pro front suspension and solid axle pro rear suspension. And uh, fully upgrade it and stuff and do on the inside. Oh, right. I got to check the engine on this. So he didn't do... It uh, looks like he didn't do any of that, but uh, he didn't do anything to it. Uh, tell me down in the comments, turbo or blower? Uh, or a supercharger, um, and I will definitely put that on there, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye-bye, also, don't forget, comment down below what you guys want me to do with the Tundra and the Bronco, and I will see you guys next time.